You could say Tim Kaine browbeat his opponent slobs with his eyebrows. He said, that makes me smart. The debate was best summed up by the Grinch. Mm, it's a wonderful night for eyebrows. From the first word Tim Kaine uttered, Elaine, his eyebrows rose to the occasion. That passion throughout their life. His left brow, in particular. A Twitter war with Miss Universe. In the political universe, Kane is famous for his levitating brows. Tim Kane, of course, is the people's eyebrow. The brows first came to national attention back in 2006. My fellow Americans. As Kane gave the democratic response to the State of the Union. From huge surpluses, the state of his brows was up. When we worked together. Though the left brow Some seemed to work team. separately. We must. Tim Kane's eyebrow must have its own Twitter account. Clear eyes, full brows, can't lose. By the time he was nominated for VP. Do you really believe him? Kane seemed to have tamed his brows a bit. They were no longer the furry caterpillars of a decade ago. And it's an honor tonight. But even the more buttoned-down brows of Tuesday's debate launched gifts and tweets, speculation that Kane prepped for the debate by lifting weights with his eyebrows. Can we all be honest and admit that this VP debate is really about eyebrows versus no eyebrows? Play by the rules. Fun fact, Mike Pence doesn't have eyebrows, read another tweet. The Democrats definitely don't think Kane's eyebrows are lowbrow. They flaunt them on t-shirts. Kane himself Instagrammed a pumpkin with an arched brow last Halloween. I have an uncontrollable left eyebrow. He once gave Jon Stewart a button. An eyebrow-raising debate may be a distraction, but how bad can it be being compared to Spock and The Rock? He trash talks the Genimos. Hard work. CNN. There's a better way. New York.